let's now look at it another example uh, problem statement which is very common in any uh, electronic product so there is a mechanical switch which the, is meant for the user to uh, operate the product and typically being mechanical switches with springs and whatnot uh, when you press it it actually doesn't give a stable signal immediately it's called bouncing so the picture on the right shows that when you when it in the but button is pressed it's supposed to show a high voltage which is 5 volts in this case instead of being a straight 5 volt for the duration of it being pressed which is basically the contact is closed it's showing a lot of transitions from 5 volts to 0 volts and vice versa so basically it's now looking like a pulsed waveform instead of a flat line this causes a lot of problems for the system first of all knowing whether it's a zero or one is an issue the other issue is that if it is connected to an interrupt line it can generate multiple interrupts and can cause confusion to the system so it's in, it's typically uh, debounced what i mean by debounce is to make it either a low only or a high only from the given input which is a fluctuating low and high it's typically done in hardware to some extent basically using an rc filter it can also be done in software uh, because the rc constant should match the bouncing duration for which you need to actually uh, have data on how long the button bounces the problem with that is that this can change with time as the product gets older this can become loose and cause a longer uh, bounce then the hardware circuit may not be effective on the other hand a software circuit can be adapted to the as aging product so it's desirable to have a software solution as well unlike the rc filter solution the software solution must work in the discrete digital domain uh, the rc filter is an analog domain solution whereas the software can only deal with digital uh, data so let's take a close look at the bouncing pulses in the figure on the right. By experimentation, we know that for this particular switch, a single press of the button can generate a burst of pulses for about 20 milliseconds. The state of the contact within this duration is immaterial. Instead, the state of the contact after 20 millisecond delay from the initial contact is what matters, basically for stability. Let's consider that most intuitive software approach to debounce. When you look at the pulse signal of the button, you can think of it as a noise induced fluctuation in the signal. A simple noise filtering approach is to introduce a hysteresis loop such that it delays the response to the noise sufficiently to smooth out the signal. In effect, it acts as a low pass filter, removing high frequency transitions.